Hola, Colony. How are you guys? Thank you for... Yesterday I was really overwhelmed. It was my birthday. And as many of you know, I was scheduled to die on my birthday. That birthday. Yes. <clears throat> August 22nd, 2009, I was supposed to expire from the earth, or so I thought, for probably the better part of 20 years of my life. So it was riddled with fear. Um, but there is just... You know, I always say this, that when you're in fear, you are not in faith. And when you are in faith, you're not in fear. So my friends saw to it that I did not have time to wallow in fear. My One of my best friends, Chicklet, who you have all met before, uh, was at my house at 9 a.m., <clears throat> took me to breakfast. Then she bought the little family next to us breakfast as a birthday gift for me. Now, a lot of people would think, well, you didn't get anything out of that, and it was your birthday. No. That was probably one of the best birthday gifts I have ever received. Ever. Um, many of you have sent me cards and gifts and stuff, and you're probably all a little upset today going, how come he didn't post a blog on his birthday? And they feel, you feel cheated and did you cheat, and you're angry. I was a little bit busy yesterday. Literally, I had to go have a tree removed from one of my houses. So that was because the fire department said, we're going to fine you thousands and thousands of dollars if it's not done by Saturday. I'm like, but it's my birthday. They don't care if it's your birthday at the fire, at the fire department. Yeah, they just, they don't want fire in Los Angeles. Um, and then from there, uh, we had to... Um, we went, not had to, I went to my sister Andrea, I went to baby Sophia's first birthday party, and many of you were saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mr. Chapter, they're not speaking, what happened? The fates intervened, common sense intervened, and I miss my sister, I have missed her from the day that we stopped talking, and I have made some stupid, foolish decisions in my life. And I have let pig-headedness rule and, and run parts of my life. And uh, for once, and it was great because Chicklet didn't say a word. She didn't say, you need to make up, you have to, you did, did that, because I would have rebelled against that. She just said, let's just go and have a good time and fill your hands with packages if you don't want to get hugged. And that's what we did. And then at one point during the day, my sister just came over and sat next to me and she just did this. And I acted all tough and brushed it off and looked away. And then it got me. And then I walked into the kitchen and gave her probably what felt like a seven hour hug. It was probably closer just to two hours. Second awesome birthday. Third awesome birthday present was watching my new niece, the newest member of our family, our family blow out her first birthday candle. Jeez. I would have missed that because I was letting pride and ego get in the way. Why would I want to miss that? Thank you. And thank you for not putting too much pressure on me because you knew I would rebel too. Fourth grade's birthday birthday <laughs> Fourth greatest birthday present is my Aunt Colony family. And these are in no order of importance, by the way. They're just the order that they happened. Are you, I mean, there is, I'm gonna open as many as I can before this webcam thing shuts off. I don't know how much time it gives you. I hope it gives you enough time. Um, but, I'm opening them now, and I hope that that's okay. A little late. But some people celebrate the whole month for their birthday. I'm just asking for an extension of just a couple hours. I hope, yeah, okay, I can cut this here. So Dr. Donna, you guys, presents are never, never necessary. You double wrapped. Okay, good. That's another thing about you, Colony Peeps. You make sure 
<laughs> the wrapping is always wrapped. I hope that this is okay. Good. I get nervous when it's wrapped really good like this because I never want to. Um, oh, there's a box in there. Now here's a good etiquette for you younger colony people who are new here. If there's a card, read the card first. Don't toss it aside looking for uh, the gift, which is my old behavior. If I had a talking hamster on his birthday, I'd take the little guy to a carnival to see the big wheel Upon seeing it, he'd be speechless, simply letting out a little gasp of joy. Oh, my God. I'm not going to read you some of the words because a lot of them are personal and I start to cry. Wow. May your day be filled with little gasps of joy. I hope I can hang on to today like I hung on to yesterday. It was so overwhelming, but in such a positive way. It was just flooded with so much love and light. I don't know if you can see this, but she's a little... I don't want to open up the satchel. Well, I guess I can open up the satchel. The fact that I even know that that's called a satchel is awesome. She's a little ladybug. Richard talks to me through ladybugs. Richard talks to me through you, through ladybugs. Thank you, Dr. Donna. I love it. Oh, put her back in her little box. You're so bad. Meaning. Life has meaning and purpose. Big one. Uh, this is from MJ. It's funny that I can just look at the label to know who, who sent stuff. Isn't that weird? Oh my lord. Remember we talked about wrapping? All right. Letter, which I will not read out loud. She is hilarious. Wait till I show you this. All right, now remember I told you you knew people look for the card. The card is in 77 pages. So I will read this letter later. But she sent me a fancy, it says right there, fancy truffle hull protector. What did I say about you calling people in your wrapping? And look, it's got an easy open flap for people who have to absolutely have a truffle immediately. We don't know those people who can't wait for a truffle. No, we don't know those people. And then inside this brown bag, these when you were a kid ice cubes delicious instant chocolatey treat there's a lot in there and then finally feels like socks for a hamster and if this vlog has to be two parts it will get it out. I rewrapped. Wait, what did I do? How did I? It's a magic bag. I turned it inside out and it's still in the bag. I turned it back and it's still in the bag. How do I get it out of the bag? Let me pull. How do I get it out of the bag? I know. I don't know. I'm going to rip the bag. <gasps> That's how you get it out.